welcome back. You are still live with Expresso. And yes, we are still talking to the parents or parents to be out there and examining that beautiful place where parenting and tech collide. It sounds negative where they combine and um, hopefully elevate your life. There are tons of internet connected devices that you can get for your little ones at the moment from a smart crib that will gently rock them to sleep or a sock that will track their heart rate and their breathing patterns, which I think for the right kind of parent would be irreplaceable. We live in a day and an age where home tech is finding more and more uses in our nursery and are designed to soothe your child and help Help you be the highest tech rated parent possible. Our gaming content creator and new mom, Amble Barnard, now joins us in studio to talk through some of the cool gadgets that can take us through. So, we've covered some amazing apps, yes. now some gadgets, because you, you want to think that tech is at a place that we can use this now. We use these kind of things on ourselves with our fitness monitors, so why not use it for this? But are we heading towards an episode of Black Mirror in terms of how much data? Are we going to barcode our children? put a chip in them, how, how far have we taken tech and our babies? I think before we even get to there, we're getting to a point where if someone steals your phone, you won't be able to do anything. You won't be able to make a cup of tea yeah, in exactly, your house. Exactly. So <laughs> we'll solve um, that problem first. I love that. Um, we are obviously at a, a new frontier. Tech seems to be moving at a, at a very, very rapid rate at the moment. And it's becoming, it's not just gimmicky, but it is really useful. So let's start with um, smart sleeper. Yes. Which I'm sure sounds like heaven. absolute heaven and gold to you. <laughs> yeah, so, so there are actually smart sleepers that have been developed by pediatricians that have speakers and monitors in them and they actually listen for your child making sounds and then they automatically will rock and soothe and shush oh. the baby. They do the swiggle. Yeah, they do the swiggle. And then they'll alert you if the baby doesn't settle but yeah, everything will come through to your phone and it just does everything. It basically takes care of your child for you. I asked you Hold if on. there was an app that could erase your child. Well, I was saving tech. it for the crib. Yeah, <laughs> you were saving the best part. Um, that makes so much sense because the amount of hours I have spent just doing this. Oh, yeah. It's automatic now. <laughs> it is. Yeah. I do it with shopping trolleys even and you will start. You'll know what I mean. Well, from the smart sleeper to the smart monitor, I think most people are afraid with baby monitors. How far have baby monitors come? Well, now they monitor movements and breath and heart rate and everything for us. Wow. So w we have an angel care system that measures movement, but we haven't used it yet because the baby hasn't... Hasn't really had the chance <laughs> to sleep yet. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one day. But you also get monitors now that can clip onto the nappy and then that will measure everything as well and send it straight to your phone. Wow. So the minute the movement stops or heart rate stops, you'll be notified. Oh, and information is key. Yes. You just don't know what that might reveal. The quality of your little buns, um, sleeping patterns, so, so interesting. This one, I think you could hear by the tone of my voice when I spoke about it earlier, the smart sock. Yes, we've made socks <laughs> smart now. I get it, man. I absolutely get it. How does the smart sock work? So this one measures the blood oxygen levels in your child. So if you uh, really, really maybe have an immunocompromised child, or I, I wouldn't recommend every parent does this. I think it will make you a bit neurotic. Yeah. Um, looking at their blood oxygen levels all the time. You might know too much. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But um, I think it's maybe good for the more sickly bubbers or things like that. But yeah, literally a sock that you put on and it will notify you if anything starts slipping. Oh, the whole time I'm thinking, does it come with a partner sock? Because just wearing one sock would freak me out completely. But it appears to work beautifully. Look how well that baby is slipping. Um, so sweet. Okay, I get that. I think for the right parents who need yeah. that kind of information, an absolute godsend. Don't wear the sock and the monitor. And, <laughs> and everything. <Yeah. laughs> if that's the case, turn your phone off. Um, <laughs> last one, a smart changing mat. Please say yes. it changes the, the nappy for you. It doesn't, but it will measure <laughs> how many you change and how much your baby's weighing. Because, uh, you know, especially in the beginning, you need to weigh them kind of every week to make sure they're eating enough. Um, and you can also use it to measure before and after feeds if you're doing something like breastfeeding so that you know how much they're actually getting. Because it's Dads, hard to it's tell. not a competition. I can see where this is going. It's not <laughs> a competition, guys. You're not allowed to weigh the nappies. It's not about that. It's not about that at all. 
I love that. As a parent, especially a new parent, yeah. because look, the, the journey does change dramatically with the second child. But with the first, you need that information. And it feels like you're constantly being asked questions yeah. where you're like, uh, I don't know, can we wait? Can... So I understand, and especially for the right parents, this kind of take will make all the difference. Thank you so much. We're going to keep Amble here because we just love seeing her in this heightened state of exhaustion. Um, <laughs> so good to have new parents in here. If there is a piece of tech that has grabbed your attention and really helped you if you're a new parent, please let us know.